Tell me, tell me that you want me And I'll be yours completely For better or for worse And I know we'll have our disagreements Be fighting for no reason I wouldn't change it for the world Cause I knew the first day that I met you I was never gonna let you, let you slip away And I still remember feeling nervous Trying to find the words to get you here today But you make my heart feel like it's summer Danny, one of my first friends when I came, I moved to Indiana, and I'm just really happy to be part of every day. Hey Daniel, hey Aubrey. I'm just really excited to see everything amazing you guys do, because you guys are awesome, and I love you guys. Hey Dan, I'm so excited to be a part of your big day today. I uh, wish you and Aubrey a lifetime of happiness, and really excited to celebrate with you, and then hopefully have you guys come out and visit me in Denver sometime. Hey Daniel and Aubrey, I'm so excited for you guys. Aubrey, welcome to the family. We're looking forward to so many more years with you. It's going to be awesome and congratulations to you guys. Hi Daniel and Aubrey, um, I'm so excited for you guys. It's a great big day, um, super awesome. So I'm ready to like, you know, have all these holidays and stuff together as a family now. It's going to be so cool. So congratulations to you guys. <laughs> Aubrey, I am so blessed to be a part of this day with you and I can't wait for all your adventures with Dan. Love you. Aubrey and Dan, I love you guys so much, and I've got to see your love blossom from nothing to a wedding day. I cannot wait to see how far this love goes. I love you guys so much, and congratulations. Aubrey, I am so happy for you, and I'm so glad I get to be a part of your day. Uh, thank you for being the sister that I never had. Love you. Aubrey and Dan, I'm so excited for your wedding day. Congratulations. I hope your love continues to grow. Love you all. Hey Aubrey, hey Dan, congratulations on making it to your big day. We're all so excited for you. Dan, welcome to the family. Uh, we love you both very much. Super, super excited for you. And I'm ready for that great niece or great nephew whenever you guys are ready for it. Hi. Hi. Good.
I'll wake you up with some breakfast in bed I'll bring you coffee with a kiss on your head And I'll take the kids to school, wave them goodbye And I'll thank my lucky stars for that night God loves us each, and he created us to love others. Our lives find completion only in the love of Jesus Christ, and our lives are strengthened by the love of others. And Jesus explained to us that God created us man and woman, but in marriage the two become one being. So in marriage, Aubrey and Daniel can become what they could never be separately, one being that loves and is loved at the same time. And so Daniel, I'd ask you at this time, do you now leave your father and mother to establish a home with Aubrey? as her husband, to take her as your wife and provide a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as she lives? If so, answer, I do. Amen. Aubrey, likewise, do you now leave your father and mother to establish a home with Daniel as his wife and take him as your husband and provide a home where he will be loved and cared for as long as he lives? If so, answer, I do. And I would ask you parents and grandparents and family and friends, do you promise to encourage this young couple on their journey as a new family, to present an example of love and devotion for them to emulate, to help them build a strong and stable home for themselves and their family? If so, answer, we do. We do. Who is giving this woman to marry us? So as Aubrey and Daniel embark on this new journey, I want us all to just reflect for a moment on a few things concerning marriage. You see, in a marriage relationship, there are always one of two things happening. We're either moving towards intimacy or we're drifting towards isolation. There's never an in-between. It's always one or the other. And so I want to remind you both to foster a home of intimacy. Make it a place where you talk, where you plan romantic dates. Both of you can do that, by the way. Getaways, where you deliberately spend time with one another, where you pray together. Make your home a place to be heard, really heard, and cared for, where you each look to your spouse's needs first, and make it a place of forgiveness. That's going to be so important. And don't forget to understand that everything, everything around us seems to push us in the opposite direction. Career, busyness, weariness, worry. And so push through that. Foster a place of intimacy. And remember, Aubrey and Daniel, that we discuss that marriage is this great laboratory that reveals our selfishness like, selfishness like no other place. And it's a place of adjustments. As in any relationship, there will be inevitable difficulties along the way. And yet we also establish that none of those things are bad. In fact, these things are blessings because they build us up and be what God wants us to be. And remember that all of these people here are here to support you and to love you in the midst of that journey. Remember, as human beings, we're created in God's image and we have an innate desire for relationship and to make an impact on the world around us. Within these desires are longings, longings that we have to keep prioritized. We get those things out of order and we open the door to difficulty. I'd ask you, Daniel, to repeat this vow after me. I, Daniel, I, Daniel, take you, Aubrey, take you, Aubrey, to be my wife, to be my wife, to cherish and to protect, to cherish and to protect, from this day forward, from this day forward, in good times and bad, in good times and bad, for richer for poor, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to value, to love and to value, until death separates us. In the presence of God. This is my promise. So Aubrey and Daniel, you've decided to seal your vows by the giving of these rings to one another. 
And though they're small in size, these rings have a large significance. They're made of fine metal. That reminds us that love is not cheap. It's not common. In fact, love costs a great sacrifice, as we've already mentioned here this afternoon. And it's very precious. These rings also form a circle, which reminds us that love should never stop. It's unconditional. It's eternal. It's something that we take with us even after we leave this world. These rings will be a constant reminder to you of this day, of this ceremony, of this time. And so, Aubrey, I would ask you, will you accept this ring as a symbol of Christ's love? The same love which Daniel will strive to show you in each day of your marriage. If so, answer, I will. So, Daniel, take her ring. Place it on the third finger of Aubrey's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I say this in the presence. And I say this in the presence of my God and Savior. Of my God and Savior. Daniel, will you accept this ring as a symbol of Christ's love? The same love which Aubrey will strive to show you in each day of your marriage. If so, answer I will. I will. So Aubrey, would you take his ring? Place it on Daniel's left hand, the third finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. And I say this in the presence of my God. Aubrey and Daniel will now take part in a sand ceremony to celebrate the love and union that this afternoon represents. And so today we're here to join two lives together. And in essence, this is the blending of two families with all those experiences in an even deeper way. And today you join together separate lives. Two separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends, separate experiences, joys, pain, all of those things. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as individuals. They also represent your lives before today as these two containers of sand are brought together and poured out into the third container, which already contains this white sand, which represents God. As those come together, they can't be separated. No matter how hard you would try, you can't. By blending these sands together, we're recognizing the importance of blending two lives. May you always honor and protect your family. God, we come to you today asking that you bless this marriage. Watch over the life that Aubrey and Daniel will build together. And let each one of us here build them up and encourage them as they experience life with one another. Help them never to forget this afternoon, the celebration that will be coming soon. Help them not to forget that they vowed themselves to each other. We ask that you would bless them with great memories, with wonderful experiences. Most importantly, we pray that they will remain focused on you in the good and the bad. We thank you for this night of celebration that's about to take place, and we give you all the glory. We pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. So Aubrey and Daniel, we've stood here this afternoon for an intimate group of people who love you a lot. And more importantly, you've come before God to express your desire to be husband and wife. You've promised your love to one another. So with that, I'm happy to say, Aubrey and Daniel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> hey, friends and family, it's my privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel McAllister. You're a falling star, you're the getaway car, you're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're the swimming pool on an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say. And you play it caught, but it's kind of cute, oh, when you're smiling me.
you know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend But you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing Your every line Your every word Your everything You're a carousel You're a wishing well And you light me up When you ring my bell You're a mystery You're from outer space You're every minute of my every day And I can't believe That I'm your man And I get to kiss you baby Just because I can Whatever comes our way I will see it through And you know that's what our love can do And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing Your every line Your every word Your everything
As long as you love me, baby. As long as you love me.
admit that I was wrong for you, however. So hold on, hold on. This means a lot to me, cause I know, I know that you will always be the one, the one, the one that I can count on for anything, anything. And I'll always be your biggest fan. And I'll always be your biggest fan. Scars in me, but I love that you do. I've never had much hope for my insecurities, but I love that you do. For everything that I lack and could never be, the other half is you. It's always been you So hold on, hold on This means a lot to me Follow my lead. Well, I found a girl beautiful and sweet. Oh, I never knew you were that someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell in love. Now, knowing what it was, how will I give you? Time, darling, just kiss me slow. Your heart is all I am, and in your eyes, you're holding mine. And baby, I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Listening to our favorite song When you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath But you heard it Darling, you look perfect tonight Well, I found a woman Stronger than anyone I know she shares my dreams, I hope that someday I'll share her home I found a love To carry more than just my secrets To carry love, to carry children of our own we
have a sad cross from the same kid at lunch. Uh, this kid always packed his lunch, and every day after eating his lunch, he had some gummy fruit snacks. And instead of just eating them like a normal human being, he would have them fight each other to the death gladiator style, with the loser being eaten. And all I could think was, what a weirdo. <laughs> But I got home one day, and I gave it a try, and I have to admit that gummy snacks taste better after being defeated in one-on-one -on -one time. I think the fear really brings out the flavor. After realizing this kid was obviously a genius, I started talking to him, and it turns out he was the nicest and the funniest guy I had ever met. We had the exact same interests, we loved the same sports, Games, movies, we watched and watched Happy Gilmore in each other's basements like a hundred times. Uh, it was amazing how similar we were, except for when we started growing, where Daniel started growing up and I started growing out. <laughs> Which I thought was incredibly unfair. <laughs> Daniel and I are so similar that I married an Audrey and he married an Aubrey. <laughs> in fact, when my wife and I first met Aubrey, she was like, she's perfect. I just needed her to change her name. <laughs> but Aubrey selfishly kept her own name. Sorry. <laughs> so I guess we're stuck with that confusion for life. But it's worth it because Aubrey is so kind and supportive and hilarious and fun and an incredibly good volleyball player, which is very surprising to all of us. I don't know where it's better than everything. <laughs> Uh, before our spouses, Daniel and I were, I don't want to call it shy, let's call it reserved. You know, we'd rather stay in and hang out than go try something new. So I'd call Daniel and be like, hey, you want to hang out? And he's like, ooh, I'm kind of busy, let me check my schedule and get back to you. But now when I call, I'm like, hey, you want to hang out? Aubrey grabs the phone and is like, yes, when, where, now, we're on our way. <laughs> So I am just so thrilled because Daniel is so awesome and I'm just so glad that he found someone as awesome as he is. Aww. Uh, marriage is exciting, it's rewarding, it's a wonderful feeling to know that somebody always has your back. Uh, marriage is also hard though, and there's going to be some rough parts, there's nothing you can do about it. And if I could give you any advice, it would be to always remember how much you love your partner, and always put your partner above your pride. So let's raise a glass to Daniel and Aubrey. I love you both so much, and your life is going to be great, I'm just so happy to be a part of it. So Daniel and Aubrey.
and their trials and tribulations will only further prove their love and devotion to one another. So let's raise a glass. Congratulations to Dan and Aubrey. May your love stay strong and prosper with a lifetime of happiness. Love you guys.
every way And forevermore That's how you'll stay That's why, darling, it's incredible That someone so unforgettable
think I want to marry you Is it the look in your eyes Or is it this dancing juice Who cares baby I think I want to marry you I got this feeling Inside my bones It goes electric wavy When I turn it on All through my city, all through my home We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet Feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally Come on, like the way we rock it So don't stop Interrupt our program to bring you this important message So just dance, 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 dance